beautiful days. Like ruining someone's life in the village. So come on. Why are you in such a good mood? Well, first I have a lunch meeting at one of Chester's premier restaurants. And after that ordeal's over, I'll be evicting the McQueen's. On what grounds? Home inspection, during which they will be found to be in violation of their tenancy agreement. James, money's really tight right now. But you can't kick them out. Where are they going to go? Well, I should have thought of that before they destroyed the video my dead sister left me. Which was an accident, by the way. Same as you, poisoning the dogs. Look, feuds, they don't end well. Then worry ye not, for this one is already over. Come on. We run a tidy ship. Yes, it's remarkably clean. Expecting guests? Eh, uh, well, that's bronzes. I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of it yet. <clears throat> Is there a reason you're dressed like Doris Day? Well, I don't know about you, James, but I constantly kick back in a head scarf and marigold. Uh, Is this going to take much longer? We're almost done. Friendly reminder. One more strike and you're out. What's this? Ah, oh, something to scare the kids away from playing with knobs. I, I wish that I could say that we were really sorry to have disappointed you, but I find it's often a good idea to read the small print. What are you doing? Have you been climbing trees? Because I smell Delamere pine. Oh, what are you now, the sniffing detective? I always think it's a good idea to read the small print. Because, you see, it says here that you have to give us at least 24 hours' notice before an inspection, which puts you in breach of contract, which you wrote. Oh, does this mean you're not very good at your job, James? It's merely a stay of execution. One day soon, I will find a reason to flick that switch, and then... K. Sarah. Sarah. Right, that is it. These marigolds are off, and I'm going to put an end to that vendetta once and for all. Aha! Uh -huh. There he is, my Brutus. You tipped off the McQueen's. Don't try and deny it. I caught a whiff of your homemade oven cleaner. Well, yes, but I only did it because I hate how petty this is making you become. Petty? They destroyed Juliet's Juliet. video and all you keep saying. But it was an accident, James. Luckily for you, my plan was flawed. Well, they won't be the only ones sleeping rough tonight. Oi! Hogwarts! A word. Oh, here she is. Your partner in crime. What? It was me. I was the one that left you those cleaning products. But that was you. Who do you think it was? Colonel Mustard, in the kitchen, with the Delamere pint. Goldie, I was just saying, I think it's about time we put a stop to all this, don't you think? Yeah, well, I was going to let poison dogs lie, but not after today. We are having a statue of bronzer made, and I warned you to back off, and you never. So I'm going to have it smack bang in the middle of the village to show everyone how evil you are, and you've only got yourself to blame. I'm not going to back down until I am rid of their infestation. Can't 